This is the fattest arms I've ever seen. Someone stop it. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Hazelwood Training Ground, aka the home of the London Irish. And this morning, we're going to find out the answer to the age-old question, what's better, rugby or strongman? Who's better, rugby players or strong men? And we're going to find out by having a test of physical strength, agility and will, aka punt versus grunt. It's time to meet our team captain, self-elected Bish and Topsy. Lads, how are we feeling generally today? Not too bad. Sun's out. We're about to see where we are, test a bit of strength. So, yeah, looking forward to it. And Bish? feel great. The strongman guys are on form. We're ready to uh, kick some ass. Indeed. Well, let's kick off with the very first event, which is the Hercules Hold. 200 kilograms, basically in each hand, ripping your arms from their sockets. What could possibly go wrong? Who are you electing for this first challenge? <sighs> Team captain, I'm going to step up. I'm going to, going to lead the boys, yeah. Now, if only there was somebody with perhaps a world record in this event, Bish, that you could have, that you'd pull out as your trump card to start off with. Yeah, as team captain, I'm going to selflessly step down from this one and play uh, Mark Felix, our trump card, into this one. Mark, it's your home behind us here, the Hercules Hold. What is your world record officially? One minute. 37 seconds. It's unbelievable. Now at this point here, I think it's only fair we give Topsy a little bit of a head start. So we're going to add 20 seconds before you've even started to the proceedings. How are you feeling now, sir? You said 20, not 1 minute 20. <laughs> yeah. Correct. Okay. Uh, I'll take it. Why not? Go on, let's see how we go. And because of that, should we have you going first, sir? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Topsy, good luck. Thank you. Top CEO Joe, team captain. Uh, we're more adaptable, more flexible, we're more multi-skilled, you know, it's not just all about brute force with us. Ooh, Nando's. Chicken thighs, hot, peri chips and corn on the cob. Wow. Um, about 160, 170 maybe? Okay, ready? Top C is in position. And we are off. This is, this is very difficult. He stepped up to the plate. We're going to call him so solid because he's got 21 seconds on the clock. <laughs> How did that feel for anyone who hasn't done it before? Uh, it felt good for about two seconds. And then that one went and then that one went and took me with it. So yeah, it was all right. <laughs> I mean, isn't it genuinely mesmerising that these guys can do it for, as Mark does, over 90 seconds? Yeah, that's um, like serious strength. I mean, rugby guys are strong, but I mean, that's a whole different world. The good news is, is that we're adding 20 seconds to your score. So the big question is, is Mark going to beat it? If he doesn't beat it, I think he has to leave straight away. But I would imagine he'll beat it and still be here till lunch. You've been a good sport, mate. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. Mark Felix. 55, young, 140k, deadlift, Hockley's hole. They are my favorite because I love strongman that much. I don't understand it much. Favorite meal, I don't have a favorite, I just eat stuff that good for me. And the exhibition is underway. Mark Felix, 54 years young. 55 years young, every year counts in this game. This is what a strong man looks like, a world record holder in this event. One eternity later. As comfortable as you like, just like that. Give him a round of applause. Woo! Now Mark, we've got to be honest here, you made that look easy. It was easy, wasn't it? Well for me, yeah. It was good, yeah. Are you impressed that somebody that's never done strongman, who has hands like my hands, weighs almost a similar weight to me, gave that a go? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, it's good for everyone to have a go in Just see how it feel. See the kind of um, pain and stuff that we go through. You do go through an awful lot, but that's one event down, one event to the strongman, but up next, it's a rugby specialist game and it's the kicking <laughs> challenge. Okay. So I kind of see where I'm struggling. <laughs> So the way this works is very simple. Five rugby balls, five attempts to successfully kick one of these into the skip behind them. They start with the nearest rugby ball and get further and further away, which means their best opportunity is the first opportunity 
And then when it comes to Bish, it's basically down to luck. Adam Bishop, team captain. Uh, steak, thick cut chips and some greens. Uh, 440 kilos. At life, strongmen, we're, we're terrible. We're great at lifting things, but we basically get too big for our environment and get out of breath walking around. So I guess rugby players probably have the edge. They probably make more money than us as well. Probably get better chicks. <laughs> so really, we're the underdogs here massively. Bish, it's over to you. Opportunity for one point. With the first kick. Oh, just like that. Granny Masterclass. Style. Granny style wins it, boys. One point. Already two more up for grabs. Ooh. It was close, no cigars here. You know, I'm quite worried about this crossbar now. Here he goes, rolling back the years. Oh no. Yeah, no it does roll back the years, that's why I stopped playing rugby. <laughs> two more, mate. Four points potential here. It's a big one. Big kick for Bish. Is it? Is it? Ooh. Final opportunity, one point, it was one for one, now one for four, for Pride, for Loughborough. Champagne rugby from the back here. <laughs> here he goes. Here he goes. It was Johnny Wilkinson at the start, but it finished. Perfect spin I put on it, boys. Perfect spin. <laughs> lovely, lovely that. I've well. got the spin, I've got the bounce off that bit of turf I was looking at. <laughs> Rory, unbelievably, Bish managed to fluke, we're going to call it, that last one giving him six points. How are we feeling now? Well, I'm not sure if you're allowed to bounce it in. That wasn't clarified in the, the rule book, so apparently it's allowed, but yeah, whatever. You're already livid. <laughs> I am, I am. It's going to make it a lot harder for me now, uh, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. Rory's strategy here, six points to beat. Just get it in the skip. Rory Brand, 23, scrum half. Uh, don't do deadlift. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like my back. Favourite meal, uh, homemade spaghetti bolognese by myself. Gonna go hat for the mountain. And the, I like to win the Game of Thrones particularly. Not sure about the strong men, but... Oh, oh no! Oh, Rory! One down. <laughs> Here he goes, here he goes. He can feel the pressure. This is not something they would normally do. They would not normally kick balls into skips, but they're doing it today. Take on the strong... Okay, two opportunities. This one is required to stay in against Adam Bishop, who lucked it and under pressure. Oh, that was unbelievably close. This one for pride. This one for London Irish. The wind is picking up. It is much harder. The focus. Can he luck it like Bish did? Dude, it's not something you'd normally do. Let's be totally honest here. That's really embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I contact that? <laughs> so two events down. It's not looking great for London Irish. Two bad. events to go though. What's, what are we thinking moving forward? Well, now it's up to Adam and uh, Wasaki to, to help us out there. Yeah, I've not done a good job. I was, I was meant to be an easy win, but yeah, it is what it is. Good effort, dude. Cheers, thank you. There's an awful lot on this next event. It is Thor's hammer, aka the hammer hold. The gent's going to try and hold this hammer, 30 kilograms worth, directly out in front of them, as long as they can. Now, why has you been selected for this one? 30 kilograms, it's heavy when it's out in front of you like this. Heavy as hell, yeah. It, yeah. And who are you taking on for this one? Over there. <laughs> <laughs> Big Loz over there. Now, Loz, the good news for Wise is 30 seconds of a head start he gets off the bat. 30 seconds? 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see Mark Felix giving up any 30 seconds. <laughs> Does that change things, mate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence Chalet, 38, uh, 150 kilos. What's that in the hollow? 29, 103, wing. 435 kilos. <laughs> I don't need a deadlift. <laughs> <laughs> I 
We can grow better beards. <laughs> Handsome. <laughs> I used to be. <laughs> I, was, I was a decent rugby player as a youngster. Then I smashed up my knee playing table tennis, of all things, and then moved to strongman. Maybe they can't pass the ball anymore. <laughs> can't run anymore. <laughs> okay, well it's now time for the action to get underway. So Daz, it's over to you. On the whistle. And they're off. Why is this a 30-second head start? But Loz, with all of his years of experience, fighting with every sinew of his body to make this happen. Why is there, using every trick in the book, focusing, thinking about... <laughs> Loz is a man who's done this before. The former Europe's strongest man versus a man who's grimacing so much. What an unbelievable performance from Wise, representing London Irish incredibly well there. Great support and nothing but banter from the strongman. Bish gave Wise a real nod of approval to say that is a great performance there. Real questioning of how straight Loz's arms are at the moment. Those are the fitness hands I've ever seen. Someone stop him. Go on, Lars. He's going to have to fight all the way, tooth and nail, for this one. He is giving this everything. There's questioning. They made me work hard there. <laughs> you just trying to punish him, Daz. <laughs> oh, it's going to Daz. Well, I mean, the rugby guys have won, but they've got a 30 seconds head start, you know, so. To be fair, how many strong men can beat 55 seconds on it? <laughs> <laughs> so to be, to be clear, Daz, so officially, Wise has taken that event? He's taken that event, yeah, with, with a 30-second penalty for Loz, yeah. I mean, that, that performance at a Giants Live that Loz just did would be probably first place. <laughs> you know, the world record's only just above a minute, and that was 55 seconds, so that's great. And his arms were as straight as a butcher's knife throughout? Uh, this is a fun day today. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you really simple. Yeah. Five balls, five bins. Yeah. You get a ball in the bin, one point, two points, three points, two points, one point. Okay. Any strategies? Um, I'm just going to try and get the balls in the bins. Just to put a bit more on the line. So it's two one. If you win this, the show is over. Strong men win. If you don't win, it goes to a tie break. Okay. Well, I'll do my best, and hopefully that's enough. And if it's not, then we'll just have to go and win the tiebreaker. <laughs> Good luck, mate. Thanks. Terry Holland. 41, 450 kilos, pizza. Um, I don't know, for me it's been a long time. I haven't played for about 15 years, so it's gonna be interesting, but hopefully the skills haven't completely left me. He's going straight down the pipe for this one. Ooh, it was straight, it wasn't quite straight enough. He's going for the two pointer. Oh, painfully close for the one pointer. Hey, go on Terry. One point, two points available to make it three. Ooh, knocks the bin over. That was a wheelie good shot. Oh, one point. Terry, you got one, one on the board. Yeah, they were all close though. So, you know, I'm taking it as like a bit of a moral victory. You know, all of them nearly hit. You know, I've got, I've got to look at a positive, anyway. not I? Mate, you're playing passes to people to run onto. Exactly, exactly. It's passing front, exactly that. That's exactly what I was trying to do. So, um, no, you know. Is what it is. He's just going to like take me apart now, so we're going to have to win the tiebreaker. <laughs> but before then, it's time for Adam. Adam Coleman, 29, 6 8, second row. Oh, no, not a big lifter. Probably skill, probably our skill acquisition. Um, not really, but probably Thor, just from the movies. Here he goes, Adam Coleman. No pressure. <laughs> He hails from Australia. Oh! All he needs is one more to make it two all and to take it into a tie break. Four opportunities. Here he goes. It was. Oh! <laughs> like a snooker referee. <laughs> he didn't elect it. <laughs> didn't elect it, it doesn't count, but can he get it again? Oh! That is how you do it, sniper accuracy. Like a precision German engineer this lad. Look at this, look at this. Doesn't even care about getting it in anymore, he's getting it in the lids of the bins now. 
Again. <laughs> Adam, job done. Yeah, that was a good win for the boys. And that takes it to a tie break, which officially means it's now really game on for the final time. It's time for the big one. It's the decider. It looks like Jenga, but for trademark purposes, we're going to call it the tumbling tower. We couldn't afford it otherwise. 30 seconds between taking a block and putting it back on top. The first one to make it tumble loses. It's all about finesse. It's all about coordination. It's all about being tactile, which doesn't really favor either team. So who's going to win this? Well, that really is anyone's guess. Ready? Oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Take your grip! <laughs> Lift! Go! Adam Bishop. Oh, oh, so good. Oh, he's, he's already panicking. <laughs> oh, oh! Come on, Bish, you can do this. this? Hey. There he goes, first one. Four, three, okay. Up next is Rook. He's in the Euro first. Oh, good, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Quality. Take this one hand, the other hand in the pocket. He's a relaxed man. Ooh, he's found a. He's found an external, but hasn't put it on. Mark was straight in. He comes wise. Look at this. This is this is like MS. An MS advert for grip this. Time really is running out on him. He doesn't have oh, 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 oh. oh. Mark straight in there. Oh, Mark is straight in. <laughs> He's taking a knee. Oh, oh look at this. Oh, There's a reason this man. He's a blasterer by trade and he knows his blocks. Come on, man. Look at that. That is how you do it. <laughs> there is so much pressure on Topsy at this point here. Oh, he's found one. He found a cheeky one. Initially probed out by Terry Holland earlier on. Here comes Lars. Lars going for the full deep squat. He's going for the deep squat. He's putting the cat amongst the pigeons here. He is as solid as a rock. You change the events, you change the outcome. Here comes the man, he's six for eight, it's a long way down. Oh! Oh! Five seconds in! Well done! Coleman by Coleman, it's back to Bish. <laughs> he's now he's now full time he's been training for this moment for the last focusing on this for the last few months the wind has picked up the wind has picked up Terry come and shield the wind this you got it you got it oh yeah glory the the pride of Scotland is stepping up to the plate here. It's not making it back to me. Oh. Scotland is known for its engineering. It's got and Rory is making this almost and impossible oh. for the next man. Oh. Look at these tackers. Oh. Rory may have just potentially won this for the London Irish. Oh. <laughs> you need a sand timer for this event. You need a calendar for this sort of event. Oh! I saw nothing! I saw nothing! Unbelievable scenes! Unbelievable scenes! I mean. We should be calling for a replay here. Oh, oh, yes. oh. oh look at that. Can't teach that. Against all oh. 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 Against all the odds. Against all the skullduggery of what took place before. This man. Come <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> on! All we can say to Mark is all the very best of British here. Because oh. 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 
Versus Grunt 2021, <laughs> London Irish! So lads, it started with a defeat, and then from the jaws of defeat, you clawed victory. How are you feeling? Good, very good. You know, high pressure, high stakes there, but you know, back to the boys, we came through, and yeah, good win. And what's really nice is the strong men, they adhere to all the rules in the non Jenga tumbling tower game. Yeah, they did. They did. <laughs> That's pretty loose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And finally, what does this mean to be champions like this, lads? Ah, uh, oh, I can't describe it really. Um, <laughs> what a win at home, home turf, home home advantage. But you know, it's a fortress now. So um, yeah, we'll keep it that way. Round of applause for our losers. losers. <laughs> <laughs> but round of applause to our punt versus grunt champions. 2021 London Irish aka Rugby! It has been a great day, it has been a special day, so without further ado we can hand over to the captain of the winning team Topsy to do the honours with the official Giants Live London Irish specially fermented champagne! <laughs> I don't like losing. It's not fun. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, of, of all of the toss, I think you're the one who only lost fair and square. <laughs> How? How do you work that out? <laughs> he was going for the bin there, which should have been two points. Missed it by that much. He got it in the one that was free by bouncing in, and he beat me because of that. It would have been a draw otherwise. It's true. True fact. Dude, it's been 20 years since you were a professional rugby player. You can relax about it, man. You can take a loss. I never away. relax about it, ever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even let my son win at stuff. He's five. It's like, nope, not happening. 